So Steph, what did you make of the, the Leonard Fournette signing and just what are your impressions of him so far? Uh, you know, it's only day two. You know, I kind of had an existing relationship with L, so uh, I know how good of a player he is. I know how hard he works and I know what he brings to this football team, so it's exciting to have him. Um, definitely going to be a, another great addition to our offense, and so it's something exciting. Uh, more so, he's a good teammate. He's, he's, a, uh, he's fun to be around. Steph, last game, it seemed like early on when you guys were you know, going up-tempo, no huddle, things were really clicking. What about that is allows you guys to just like go out there and, and play fast and free, I guess? That's kind of what it looked like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we got a lot of guys on offense, um, smart guys, smart players that can move around, be in different spots, and being out there, we kind of figure it out as we're out there. Um, not too much uh, anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Not too much thinking, more so just playing, playing fast, and uh, playing what you see. So I feel like uh, it brings Josh another layer of, you know, being comfortable with having guys out there, smart guys, guys that can be in different spots, uh, can run the whole tree and kind of like still get open. I think it gives them confidence and, you know, it kind of showed. That's much, something that, you know, is that something that helped you guys get out to that fast start last game? I don't, I don't really know. You know, every game is different. We've had games where we didn't go up tempo and we had a pretty good start. We had games, plenty of games that we didn't have a good start. So. Uh, I can't attribute to it to nothing but executing better. You know what I'm saying? Executing better, uh, whether we're going fast or slow, executing at a high level is going to be a key thing for any game. Understanding that every game is different, like you just said, yeah. how much of a step forward might that have been for this offense, given maybe where it was and going into a game uh, Sunday night where you're probably going to have to score? I mean, you hope so. I mean, you can't do nothing but roll the dice and hope so. Um, more so just creating the right habits um, in practice during the week. Um, every game is different, you know. Can't look at last game and say, oh, there's going to be plenty of carryover. This is a brand new game. Uh, it's a different football team. Uh, there's some similarities, but a way different football team. Uh, yeah, they got, yeah, they score they score points. And for us, yeah, of course, uh, but any game, we're going to have to score points. So I look at it as in, you know, no matter what game we play, we're going to have to score. Memory serves me correct. I think you and Rasul when added a little, not as much as somebody else mm -hmm. on the team, but a little bit in the last matchup. Are those the kind of guys that make a football team better? They bring that fire and that juice? I think so, especially competition level. Uh, Coming from our head coach and down, like he 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 preaches competition on a consistent basis. We, I think we're one of the few teams that does one on ones uh, during the season week week uh, from one to week to 16, 17. So I feel like competition always breeds a level of excellence. And for us, uh, you never stop. So even adding adding a couple guys, it doesn't hurt your team. It makes your team that much better and it's that much hungrier. If you ask me. Looking go, to go ahead, man. Who's your go-to one on one guy now? Because I know you know. <coughs> I'm the cam man. I'm the can man. Anybody can get it. Yes. <laughs> you go. Um, looking back, looking towards Sunday night, you know, the last time you faced these guys, the end of the season mm -hmm. here, uh, they kind of had the Bills number, your number as a team, and an emotional end for you. Carry over in any sense from that in terms of the dynamic of that matchup, where they seem to match up with you really on both sides of the ball. Pretty well. Does that change over the course of an off season, or is that dynamic still in place? Do you think? I, I don't think so. I don't think it changes much. I feel like they're a great football team. They've had success, uh, especially uh, they got a way of getting going throughout the um, throughout the season. You know, sometimes they'll have a slow start, but you can kind of bet your money that they'll get rolling. They're a good football team all around. Um, remind, remind us a lot of ourselves, like as far as like offense and, and defense wise. It's gonna come down to execute, executing at a high level, and. Uh, being on the same page, you know, when it's good versus good, that's just how it go. You know what I'm saying you got to execute at a high level, and a couple plays got to go your way. You know what I'm saying so you just work at it throughout the week and, and pray for the best, I guess, or work for the best. Better yet, you go back to Minnesota with Limbaugh. Yeah, uh, what cool. does that mean for a defense? Add a guy like that that has played so long in this league. I just know you. I know what I'm getting. You know, I was with him in Minnesota. He's had a hell of a career. I can imagine him and Big Phil being in there, putting that pressure on the pocket, especially with two two edge rushers. So, um, adds another layer to that defense. You know, I don't play too much defense, but I've seen his work and I respect his game. So, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of trouble in there. Steph, what's it gonna be like for you emotionally going back to Cincinnati? I don't feel no way. I don't, I'm I kind of like that ship has sailed for 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 me, like especially because Demar is good and like you know like last year and like how the how the season ended like. I had a long off season to think about the loss. You know, a lot of things have happened since then. So for me, like that ship has really sailed. Like I try not to attach myself mentally to anything. Uh, 
not necessarily negative, but something that's in the past. You know, I feel like we all grew from it. A lot, a lot of good things have happened since as well. So, um, not too much emotion. I'm going into this game like I go into any game. I'm trying to eat. Thank y'all. All good. Thanks. Thanks so much.